So the Denver Nuggets just signed Facundo Capazzo, and I hope I did not butcher that name, to a contract. Now, who is this player? Capazzo is a fantastic passer over in the Euro League, and that is the highlights that we are going to be breaking down today to see if any of these skills are able to be transferred over to the NBA. Let's get down and let's check out Facundo Capazzo. Okay, so in this first clip, he's coming down essentially on a fast break. It's not a setup offense. Now he has essentially a double team forming up top. This player is currently covered. Now this player is essentially guarding two players at once because this player is currently pointing at him saying, hey, like, guard my guy. And, of course, that is something that did not happen. However, being a shorter player is around 5'11", which is a little short when it comes to basketball. However, especially at the NBA level. But you really have to know how to use your height to your advantage. Now, his advantage is, of course, playing really good defense, but passing and using his height as well as his skills to his advantage and what I mean by that is he's able to get crazy passes off because of his height now this is a one-handed side pass between two defenders a normal player who's 6'4 wouldn't have been able to do that pass because especially with two players there it would have been having to be a pass over top in which case he should have been able to intercept with being a shorter player, you can get low passes off, low enough where the defense is unable to get it, and he's able to get it through the defense to this player. Passes like this are going to be absolutely beneficial, especially if he's going to be on the same court, or at least on the court at the same time, as Jamal Murray or Jokic. Something that you will notice with Capazzo is his ability to pass with one hand. He's able to get that pass off, and of course, why does he do this one-handed pass? And we see this a lot in his highlights. And this is, of course, a pass that a lot of coaches over, at least here in Canada, and probably in the United States as well, will classify as a careless pass because it's not coming from the chest. It's coming from essentially the hip. Now, why does he do that kind of a pass? Well, the reason why he does this kind of a pass is because he's able to, for, for one, be able to get more power on that pass, more speed to be able to get it over to that player, but also it's able to be a quicker pass because if he was to pick it up, bring it to his chest and pass it over, or pass from the shoulder and over, what's going to happen is it's going to take more time from here it's going into almost like another dribble, but instead, he scoops it over for that three-point shot. This is a fantastic way to pass, especially if you practice it a lot. I would not recommend doing this in a game unless you've practiced it, hitting a couple of targets on the wall at first. Now, something that we do notice with Capazzo is his ability to see the court. Right now, he is scanning to the court to see what is going to happen. And he is able to read defenses to know what they are about to do. So, he knows right now that he has a player looking at him here, a player looking at him here, and of course he's got a trailing player behind him. He has this player here who is going to come out and try to take a charge. And then this player should come down to cover the low post, which is leaving that three-point player open. However, at this point, on one of his last steps, what he does here is he scans once again. He's scanning knowing this player is going to be coming out and contesting that shot. This player was too slow to recover down into the low post, in which case he needs to get that pass over to this player. And he's able to see that, and he's able to do that, and he's able to get that basket for that player. So in this next clip, this is showing you something that every single player needs to do. So we all know when you are driving a car, for example, you need to scan your surroundings all the time. You need to use all three mirrors and you need to be really looking left to right or else you're going to be getting into a car accident and that kind of sucks. So this is the same in basketball. You want to be scanning your surroundings knowing where your players are and where the defenders are at all times. And we can see this in this clip. So right here Facundo gets that turnover. Now he's dribbling the ball up court right here he looks back, notices he has this player, and there is a massive space 
between that player on his team and that guy's defender. So this is a very risky move, but he's able to successfully do it. And what he does is he leaves the ball for that player, meanwhile gathers both players in to double team him. Now that player is able to go after that ball. Those two players have sunk towards the net because they were following the ball handler Facundo and because of that he leaves that ball behind him and that player is able to score. This is a very risky move, a very, very risky play, but if you are able to scan your surroundings left to right all the time knowing where your players are, you can get baskets like this too for your teammates. So right here the other team is playing a what looks to be a 2-3 or possibly a 2-1-2 style zone. It definitely looks like a 2-3 to me or a 3-2. And from here what he does is they pass that ball out, they do a skip pass over to him. He lands on both feet like if he was about to shoot. That gets these players wanting to go up into the air. We see that with their arms way behind them. And then what he does is he attacks the rim and then he knows he has a player absolutely wide open who's a good three-point shooter over in that corner. He does that one-handed pass once again. He's able to pass with both hands. This is something that a lot of players really need to learn how to do. Not just pass with your strong hand, but also pass with your weak hand. He's able to do that successfully and get that player a three-point shot. He's also very good at coming out of a screen and roll or a screen and pop. And from here, he's coming out of a screen, but there's also a backside screen happening over here. He's able to send that pass up to that player and get that basket. That's because he is scanning the court. Look at his face. He knows something's going on over there. Obviously, this is a play of the team, but he's able to get that pass to that player by scanning the court knowing, hey, that player is lost. This defender is lost, not even looking and staying between the ball and the man and of course he's able to make that team pay and this is what I mean by knowing how to use your height so here we have Facundo over here when he gets that ball he does a quick pass fake over here which gets that defender to move out of his way towards his right side this player then decides well I need to cover that man anyways there's no sense in me coming here because he's just gonna pass over here so I need to go cover over here when that happens his main defender is covering his right side so he needs to drive left and what we have here is a drive left now he knows he's not going to be able to score over a top of a seven foot player because he's five foot eleven but he can go up and draw that defender over when he does that as soon as that player that defender comes over and commits to him he jumps up passes that ball over and then that play finishes with a slam I've said this to a lot of players in the comments, your height doesn't matter. It all comes down to how you use your height. And by using your height knowing, hey, I can't score on a 7-footer, but I can dish it off if I can make that 7-footer commit to me, then I can definitely get my team some baskets. Now this is just absolutely great core vision. We have a pin down screen here by the center for another guard who's coming up. Now instead of passing that ball over here, he sees that these two players are out of position. So this player is hedging slightly to try and cut off any pass. Meanwhile, this player is chasing. The screener sees that there's an opening that, of course, nobody is guarding. And Facundo is able to see that as well by looking at the play. From there, he's able to pass that ball in, and that's able to finish with a slam as well. Now, considering that the Denver Nuggets run a lot of these style plays, especially with Jokic, Jokic is very good off ball. He can set screens for players and cut after the screen off ball. And that I bet a ton that Facundo, even though he may be coming off the bench, is going to be able to do a ton of damage, getting a ton of assists to Jokic and a couple of the other Denver Nuggets players and he is going to be possibly the next best passer, whether it be the next Jason Williams or the next Steve Nash. That's going to be hard to say, but when it comes to his passing ability, he can definitely match up with the likes of those types of players. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.